Hey everyone! In the last video, we added controls to our Fabric.js canvas, allowing users to change canvas size. Today, we are taking it a step further by creating a function that helps snap elements to the edges in the center of the canvas. This feature will make your canvas more user-friendly by automatically aligning objects as you move them around. To start, let's create a new file called snappinghelpers.js. This file will contain the logic for snapping elements to the edges and center of the canvas. We will also handle drawing guidelines to visually indicate where the elements are snapping. First, we'll set up a snapping distance constant, which defines how close an element needs to be to an edge or center before snapping occurs. Next, we'll create the handle object moving function. This function takes the canvas, the moving object and the guidelines as arguments. It will check the position of the object and snap it to the nearest edge or center if it's within the snapping distance. Let's break down what's happening inside. We start by grabbing the width and height of the canvas. These values are essential because they help us to establish where the object is relative to the canvas boundaries. Here we calculate the position of the objects on the canvas. Left and top give us the coordinates of the object's top left corner. Right and bottom are calculated by adding the object's width, scale by scale x, and height, scale by scale y, to these coordinates. This gives us the position of the object's bottom right corner. Next, we calculate the center x and center y of the object. These values represent the midpoint of the object on canvas, which is important for snapping to the center of the canvas. Before we calculate new snapping positions, we clear any old guidelines using the clear guidelines function. This function removes all previously created lines from the canvas to avoid clutter and ensure that only relevant guidelines are displayed. We then initialize an empty array called new guidelines to store any new guidelines we create during the snapping process. Now that we have set up the basic variables, let's look at how we snap the objects to the canvas edges. We start by setting a snapped flag to false. This flag will help us establish if any snapping has occurred. We then check if the object's left edge is within the snapping distance from the canvas left edge, which is zero. We do this by using the math absolute condition. Math absolute returns the absolute value ensuring we are comparing the distance regardless of direction. If the object is within the snapping distance, we snap it to the canvas left edge by setting object left to zero. This moves the object exactly to the left edge of the canvas. We also check if a guideline for the left edge already exists using guideline exists function. If it doesn't, we create a new vertical guideline at the left edge and add it to the new guidelines array and the canvas. Finally, we set snap to true to indicate that snapping happened. This logic repeats for other edges, top, right and bottom and the center of the canvas. By using similar logic for each edge and the center, we ensure that the object snaps precisely into position, making the user experience smoother and more intuitive. Now we need to manage the guidelines. Whether an object is moved, we clear the old guidelines and add new ones if snapping happens. We create a helper function to draw vertical and horizontal guidelines. These functions create guidelines that are visually distinct, with a dashed red line making it easy for users to see where the snapping happens. Now that the snapping logic is ready, let's integrate it into our application. In your Canvas component, we'll import the snapping helpers functions and set up the canvas to use them. Here we are adding even listeners to the canvas. The object moving even triggers the handle object moving function, snapping the object to the canvas edges or center as it's moved. The object modified event clears any guidelines once the object has been positioned. And that's it, you just successfully added snapping feature to your Fabrics.js canvas. This feature enhances the user experience by making it easy to align objects with the canvas edges and center. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and drop any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.